First step, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, doing a men's haircut. This is my betrothed, my beloved husband, Justin. I don't cut his hair on the regular, um, so it's been many moons since I've done this, but desperate times call for desperate measures, and so here I am behind the chair in the bedroom. Um, what you need for a men's haircut is clippers, a guard, so this is an attach detachable guard, uh, a comb and shears. I am using shears that I used when I worked behind the chair. Um, any very sharp scissors will do, like sewing scissors would be a good option. You can buy haircutting shears at like Sally Beauty Supply. I'm sure you can find some on Amazon. I'll do my best to source some links for you and put them below the video, um, but that's what I'm using here. Um, so yeah, have all your tools ready to go and then um, freshly cut hair is usually pretty itchy, so if you have a cape or a towel or something, just go ahead and drape that over your man. He'll appreciate it in the long run. Okay, so you can always take off more hair, but once you've cut it, it's gone. So stay on the conservative end if you're nervous. Um, I'm going to be doing a clipper cut down here and then blend it in with uh, the top part of his hair. So we're going to start down here and then do shears up here. Um, if you want to spray the hair, that will usually help the clippers glide through a bit better. Wet hair does shrink up quite a bit. So cutting wet hair, you may think like, oh, I'm just taking a little bit off. And when it dries, it may dry up a little shorter. So if you feel better cutting dry hair, just do that. It's gonna be pretty itchy, but that way you'll know the exact length you're gonna be dealing with at the end of the haircut too. So a lot of clippers also have this knob on the end too that controls how short or long the blades are. Um, I'm gonna keep the blades a little bit longer. If I pull it up, the blades are gonna be closer together. And then put the three guard on. Like I said, you can always cut more hair off if you need to. Um, but I'm gonna start at the long three and start from the bottom and just clip up. So once you've done the clipper cut from the nape all the way to about the temples, we're going to go in here and cut with shears and then blend these two parts together. It's really simple and basic. Um, at this point, I'm going to spray his hair down to get him a little wet and then cut, just pulling the hair up and then we'll blend together next. So that's kind of the process of where we're going. If you're able, use warm water in the spray bottle. I did put warm water here, but it feels cold. So when you're cutting, you want to comb the hair and hold it with the fingers straight up from the section you're working on, but you don't want to pull too tightly because you're going to pull at the hair and end up taking off more than you want. So even though you're going to see my fingers like sandwich the hair, I'm really only doing that to hold the hair in place. I'm not trying to pull it out from his head. So I'm going to hold it there and then take the shears and trim. Do a lot of combing to pull all of the other hairs to meet up with that initial cut and just go from there. Justin's hair has a little bit of wave in it, which makes it a little challenging to cut. Um, but in a way, wavy hair can be a bit more forgiving than like stick straight hair. Like Luke's hair is stick straight. So you can see every snip you make. Whereas Justin's and David's is even this way too. It'll kind of fold over a little bit. So you've just got a little bit more flexibility and seeing the cuts on the hair. So all I'm doing here as I work my way back is adding a little bit more hair from the section behind and I'm cutting where that initial cut was to match it up. So after Justin and my first date, he said he needed a haircut. So we went back to my apartment and I cut his hair and a little bit of hair had landed on top of his ear just like some had, had done right now. And so I was just trying to help the man out. I didn't want him to itch later. So I did this. And can you believe he took that as a hint that I had a crush on him, blowing in his ear. Okay, so I've done one mohawk section back. Now I'm gonna go back to the front and scoot the comb over a little bit, continue holding everything straight out from the section I'm working on and trimming the hair to match it up. So I'm working on an angle here. Before I was going straight, I'm going a little bit to the right, but still pulling it straight up. I'm not pulling it down or over directing it towards the center section. So I'm getting to the point now where my clipper cut that I did first is going to stop around here 
and the longer hair that I'm gonna just blend in, I'm at like this corner here, if you imagine a rectangle on his head. So now I'm gonna keep pulling the hair out, but I wanna make sure I have some of that clipper cut hair in the tips of my fingers so I know how short to go. And then I'll just blend those two sections together. So you should see if you took really precise uh, cuts and precise partings, you should see like a corner come together right here and that's what you wanna cut off. So as I'm blending these two sections together, you'll notice my fingers are perpendicular to the parting I'm working with. So I'm not holding it this way in cutting, I'm following the natural path of my two fingers being together. And keeping the hair damp will also prevent little baby hairs from landing on their face. So that's just another quick note. So I'm going over to his left side now. I can find my guide right here in front. I'm gonna just keep scooting it over. And then do that second mohawk path back towards the back of his head to get that top line established. And then I'll do the sides to match up just like I did on his right side. Should I talk about leaving the hair long in the back to cover the baldness? You should talk about not doing that. Yeah, it's not Just good. Just embrace it. Just embrace the bald. You can say that my current guy does that. I know, I've seen that. Even though I tell him not it's to. It's like a proper comb over back here. Mm hmm What is your barber's name? Well, it used to be Mike, now it's Noah. Oh, yeah, Noah. But sometimes Noah's not there, so Mike does it. He's going to say when you come back. So another blending tip is to use the wide tooth part of your comb. I've been working with the fine tooth throughout the whole haircut. I'm going to scoot to the wide tooth side and just pull the hair out from his head and check and make sure there aren't any like stair steps of hair. So right here I've got the clipper side and then I'm going up to this area which was cut with shears and I'm seeing I'm a little long here. So I'm going to take the shears and just blend those two sections together so they match up. So all I'm doing is raking the comb up straight to the ceiling and any hair that sticks out, I'm gonna trim I'm cutting it like this because the hair's peeking through the teeth of the comb just to make sure there aren't any ledges. Lighter hair is gonna show, even gray hair, is gonna show the ledges more easily than brown hair. So like I told you earlier, Luke's hair sticks straight, it shows every cut. Any light haircuts you're doing, you'll wanna make sure you do this step to make sure it all really blends together nicely. Another fun fact is I somehow missed the clipper cutting lesson in beauty school. I think I was sick that week. <laughs> there wasn't like a makeup process. So really all that I learned about men's hair was in shears or when I worked as an assistant um, in a salon. That's where you really learn everything anyway. You gotta get licensed in beauty school, but you don't really know what you're doing until you work at a salon and you deal with clients and see professionals really doing um, amazing hair and you learn that way. So for a long time, and Justin, I know I did this for your haircuts, I wouldn't even use clippers. I would just do the whole haircut, clipper over or sheer over comb, because I felt like I could control the hair a little bit better. And then I finally took the plunge and got a little bit better with clippers, but men's haircut was really not my, not my forte. And it took forever. It took forever when I did it, but I was like, I was nervous to use the clippers because one cut too short and you're, you're doomed. Just leave them. Don't even bother with it. You want to talk about how you shave one of my sideburns and not the other? Or how you cut one of them and not the other? They were perfectly even and then you went home and jacked them up. No, you didn't do one of them. Okay, so at this point I've cut the top of it. I blended the sides in. I just went through and did the comb pulling it up to make sure I didn't have any ledges on the side. Um, I'm pretty pleased, this is a very basic haircut. I'm now gonna go through with those clippers I had and take the guard off and edge out to clean up around his hairline. And then I'll um, do the grand reveal and see what he thinks. My husband actually has a beard trimmer that I'm gonna use instead. Uh, but you could use the clippers, it doesn't matter. It's just, it's the same type of situation. This one's just a little smaller so I can be a little more precise. All right, the haircut is finished. He is nice and toasty under this cape. I'm sure you're ready to get out. 
Um, at this point, I'm gonna have him go rinse his head because all those little hairs just stick in there, so that's another tip. Um, either blow dry it, but best case scenario would be rinse it in the water, right? I used to blow dry you in the salon and then you were like, can you a just little fluffy. rinse my hair? <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'll have him go rinse and then we'll see what he thinks. Okay, he's just rinsed his hair off. What do you think? It's great. We'll get the job done. Yeah. It's no barber haircut, but no. we'll get you through in the time being. I didn't get a hot lather and shave. Sorry, I'll work on that next time. You didn't trim my eyebrows. Ooh, that's, yeah. that's your category. That's what Mike does. Well, that's a barber thing. Actually, that's an interesting fact. Hairstylists aren't trained to do like facial hair trimming like barbers are. So stay away from the face. Um, anyway, so my biggest tip, I mean, I shared a lot throughout the tutorial, but be conservative. Take off a little, you can always take off more and um, have a mirror in front of you, be in a well-lit area so you can see every step that you're taking, every like cut you're making, you wanna be able to make sure you can see it. Um, lastly, do not put a bowl on top of your client's head and just cut around the bowl. That's a big no, no more. All right, I hope this was helpful. I'll put links to what I used or similar versions to what I used right below the video so you can check that out there and thanks for being my willing client. Thank you.